All right, everybody, a new segment. It starts with an idea, and it spreads like a virus into the building of a new community. We're reaching out. We're reaching out. Grab a hand. All right, take moment with Mario. I thought that said heck moment. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> working on some new visual lead-ins. Some new visual lead-ins, you guys. But yeah. as tech moments, well, we want to sort of to segregate out a couple of the quick topics that are so technical. Yeah. One of the things I wanted to tell everybody, we've been talking so much about internet radio. And remember, we are simulcasting right now. That's right. On internet radio. Yes, sir. Uh, and part of what we do, we're expanding because it represents increasing communities that are out there. Some of them are, are easier to access that way than these ways. Right. And we also are, are dealing with uh, promoting low-power FM. And we said it over and over again to go take a look at prometheusradio.org, okay, where you can see about it. Yes. But I want everybody, we wanted to make the announcement today that our own radio station, 101.5 KLPK, the Merck Park Radio, has gone legit. We are now being licensed by StreamLicensing.com. So those of you not familiar with StreamLicensing.com, it's the online, the one-stop. There's only been a couple of these actually licensed to do this service, okay? Nationally? Uh, uh, internationally. Internationally? Okay. Internationally. Uh, so this service, StreamLicensing.com, allows you to license your own internet radio station for reasonable fees, uh, just about $23 a month. And then it allows you to then be licensed after you follow their rules with ASCAP, BMI, Sound Exchange, CSAC, and so so it's out there. Yeah. So it's out there. So we also are out there, uh, and you can uh, access it. Even though we're in the process of act of, of improving the website, right? So right. that part you Definitely. will be seeing. But I wanted everybody to know, and those of you who are interested yourself. And having an internet television channel, remember, you can take care of the licensing here at Stream Licensing. It's the first of our stations to be licensed, yeah. but we expect to license other ones as they become active. Okay, now, additionally with that, Vic, in terms of the tech thing, you know, a lot of people keep talking about monetizing, right? They've been talking about monetization before YouTube. That's the first thing out of their mouth. Every, everybody, it's a, it's a fancier word. To get a deal that pays you wealthy, warm receivables for the value you put out there. And it's not an easy road. It's not that easy. You know, everybody assumes it is. But you have to push a lot of volume. The whole, you know what to me, the whole, uh, the whole app world integration thing is based on you pushing a fan following base towards their app, their application. And then they, re in return, reward you. But sometimes you can get rewarded not by those who actually develop the app. Some partnerships. We know of some people who've already gained some, some monetary support and wealth by using apps like YouTube. Well, that's right. We talked about this uh, this week about uh, Kanye, excuse me, about uh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Yeah. Expanding his brand with YouTube. Well, I wanted you to be aware that one of the, um, one of the developments that's coming about that's really good for in terms of people attempting to monetizing is the ability to now run ad programs within your radio stations and they all do it so pack stereo because of requests actually of people who wanted to purchase ads we're stepping up and adding a new uh automated robot based uh ad system mm -hmm. that's going to allow us to track the ads track the broadcast at the 101.5 so along with it being legit and being licensed through the stream licensing right. service this whole stream is monitored on an active basis for what we play. Yeah. And the same kind of a way we'll be able to build. So I want everybody to take a look. We use two kinds of software, SAM Broadcaster and Station Playlist. The Station Playlist one is the one that runs our internet television stations. It's radio station software that we've adapted right. to do this. But now it has the whole new bill billing module. So look for us to add ads. So for all you people who've been looking for ways to monetize, this allows you now to put ads within your, your radio stream, what time it's going to be, all that kind of stuff. The programming. And we'll be doing it, too, within the Internet television stream and within our Internet radio stream. Right. 
And, you know, the whole thing about it is, is that it's doing a lot of the work in a kind of, how can I say, grassroots way. It's like your own administrative accounting system. It'll do a lot of the work for you, but you still have to learn at least how it works. And then, of course, programming it. I mean, you have to program it. It's like a playlist. It's like a playlist. Yeah. And we're running past you. The, the, the software that we're going to be using is called Traffic Light. But we're actually going to be using a light version of the light version. How's that? Yeah. Uh, they have a light version, then they have a lighter version still for those doing internet radio. Mm -hmm. But take a look real quickly of the, of the sample documents we're going to be able to send out. So for those of you who do care, who are, going to, who are interested in doing internet radio, this will allow you to bill people, send out the notices, all of this stuff, take orders. So you'll be able to take all these things and do printouts of your orders. So for us, it's a learning thing. Yeah. Just wanted everybody to be aware of that yeah it, it look it's not the it's not the uh fancy gloss and, and show today and this morning as it relates to this this is really about effectively administering your business practice and your accounts and receivables it's really that's what it's doing for those who are small independent companies who don't have a lot of support but learning how it works how complicated was it for you to understand it wasn't that that it's not that hard you know you have to work at it like anything yeah but hey if you want, if you want to have a service, and you want to bill for that service, right? Either, either you're big enough, and you already have that way you can hire someone to do it, right. or you got to do it for yourself. Yeah, I think the learning involved with doing it for yourself, yeah, is it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah, it's if worth you had to spend a one week, you would accomplish a lot on it. Just That's studying right. and focusing on that. Now I want to tell you, as part of our tech moment, we we, we want you to be aware that we're we're actually actively. Seeking to bring you some of the other tech folks here in the greater Los Angeles area to come and talk about stuff that they're doing. Right. So look for that. We're going to have some guests who are doing some things here in the community. Yeah. Talking about what they're doing. Okay, you guys? Mm hmm All right. That's right. It starts with a thought. And it goes viral through the world. Joining hands. Joining hands and building a new community. That's technical. Yeah!